gonna be on Space Ace's uh, channel. We should do the right thing. Ego blockbuster and watch him diss on the goal. Oh, let me, let me restart this real quick. Absolution is the Steven Seagal mega blockbuster hit movie where he showed the world that he still got it. <laughs> You ever had it? it? I mean, a complete lack of self awareness. There we go. You bitch. It starts off with Seagal telling us a bunch of shit we already know. I've been a very bad man most of my life. Then proves it. Actor, by very bad actor. Women watch one of his movies. <laughs> this young lady, who looks terrified, brings Seagal in to meet with her boss at some agency that the movie can't be bothered to tell us. We have a situation. He needs Seagal to kill this male model who's gone rogue. He's very smart, and I think he can do it. It's murder, so of course God, he's he looks in. so rough. He disappear. But Even with so makeup and everything. Age, no matter what happens. I'll come back and kill you, I just want you to know. What? He's in a Seagal movie, death would be a major upgrade. <laughs> checking out more glorious headshots, Seagal gets the good news that not only does he get to kill that guy, but also Ryu's movie career. Hey, <laughs> Together, they fly out to Seagal's homeland, and Seagal gets okay. to work by blending in perfectly and not looking suspicious at all using these tiny binoculars while wearing sunglasses at night. Yeah, what the f***? So that totally works yeah. great. He asks Ryu what's going on. I'm in two cars, windows blacked out. Just to make sure that he At least his glasses aren't blacked out. Former heavyweight champion Josh Barnett just went inside with a lady struggling to remember her lines. I have he's no idea who that man. is. Wrestler? Like all of us, Kamal is becoming a real risk. While that sounds really stupid, I can it also sounds barely exactly make out what she like was saying. Seagal movie, so fuck it, who cares? They're gonna kill everyone anyway. <laughs> Barnett, no look shooting. The model that Seagal's outside and doesn't think they can see his giant van behind this little tree, <laughs> even though he's directly in front of where they park their cars. He even waved to Seagal and is pretty sure he waved back. <laughs> he already knows because Seagal had asked to use the bathroom earlier when he first started casing the place. He tells him to get the f*** out. I'm not talking about that now. Because this isn't his first rodeo. It looks like CIA to me. And he knows the sooner he's killed, the sooner he's no longer in a Seagal. <laughs> Seagal and Jesus. Ryu make their move and show off their advanced tactical teamwork by both really their is that guns <laughs> out at the same nothing while nobody's <laughs> watching the front or back. This is this really is all if I shot in the shoot. movie. Then it's just a needless run. Oh, there's the a lot of smoking in this movie. Now they're in. They agree that Seagal will kill the people in the house while Ryu kills the neighbors. <laughs> what the f that's when Seagal's Why? grip on reality starts to slip. And he's pretty sure that's not where he shot him. <laughs> Ryu starts having second thoughts when he sees these guys are good people just trying to enjoy their dinner. So he decides to join them instead. Hey, what's the score? Just kidding. <laughs> he massacres them excessively for no reason. Well, at least it looks believable when he does it. He's hiding behind this pillar, which makes everyone laugh so much. <laughs> they don't even notice Royu coming up behind How many times did he say his name differently? Murder. Now it's the final showdown, and Seagal drops Magnum on us when he shows off the next evolution of not looking where he yeah, shooting, there it is. he's now mastered not even shooting where he's shooting <laughs> then he drops the mic he's and evolving away until he gets to the stairs obviously where his body double takes over after killing the witnesses Jesus. Seagal's pretty sure nobody watches these pieces of shit anyways and True. figure they can just end it here and nobody will notice Really? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, 
Here we go. Suspicious on how he finished a 90 minute movie in 15 minutes when it usually takes him closer to an hour. <laughs> it usually takes him closer. So he tells Root they need to pretend like they're still working. <laughs> the problem is the job's not over yet. But don't worry, he has a plan. Afterwards, Seagal shares more than we need to know. We lived together, we died together, we walked together, we f together. Whoa, no. Who just escaped Vinnie Jones's dungeon? Well, they had to come up with something. The Russian walrus. And the the Russian walrus. Have him now. <laughs> Seagal lives by a strict code of finders keepers. So sorry, mother f She's in Seagal snuff film now. Oh my god. Seagal and the girl go out to his car while his body double stays back and attacks random patrons. Seagal tells her she's way too old for him and to f off. Get out of here. Go on. Her constant ass kissing. You must be an important man. Finally wins him over, but he wants to make it clear that she will definitely regret this. <laughs> he takes her back home and she gives us the rundown on exactly what's going on. I was supposed to come here to take care of babies. Three years. Three fuck years! Nobody notices they forgot to write the second half of that story. <laughs> it all checks out until they find this blank book, and now she's fucking busted. See, everyone in this movie is smoking. She tells them she thought she was auditioning for a snuff film, but then realized it was a Seagal movie and felt so violated that she snatched the evidence and made her escape. I probably don't even want to know a real story for that. Seagal movies, except Seagal during the forced and disgusting love scene. <laughs> oh my god. Why did you have to show that? Bad. He just severely beat her and also killed her sister. So it's oh. not crazy, but it's way too late for that. It's way too late for that. She's really starting to regret escaping. Thankfully, Seagal's able to focus long enough to come up with a plan. I want to find this guy, and I want to kill him. So he calls up his boy to bring him an expired passport from one of his other shitty Holy movies. shit. Then he sends his body <laughs> double Hang to on. get close it. Let's go back and look at that one more time. <laughs> So he calls up his boy to bring him an expired passport from one of his other Yeah. <laughs> that might not even be an actual picture of Seagull. That might just be a bunch of CGI. That might be where all the budget went to was de-aging his face for this picture. Either that or this is a picture from like his fucking 20s. Maybe early 30s. Damn. Shitty movies. Then he sends his body double to get clothes and donuts. While that's happening, Seagal's fantasizing about being John Wick again and daydreams about the wife dying scene, which is by far his favorite part of that movie. What the fuck? That's fucked up. Anyways, whatever the fuck this is supposed to be is never explained, has nothing to do with the rest of the movie, of course and not. it's never mentioned again. But whatever, he snaps out of that right into a maniacal rage and starts murdering the sh** out of all the other tenants in the building. He comes out of it and is horrified at what he's done. Just kidding. It felt like heaven. <laughs> It's all a part of Seagal's master plan to get the police to arrive and then blow them the fuck up. Wait, what? Why? Look, lady, this is a Seagal movie. You can't be freaking out every time he blows up a building full of people. <laughs> that happens a lot. While they've been out committing terrorism, they've been out roughing up tourists. <laughs> And prostitutes for cash. We catch up with hey, is that his partner? whose physical wounds are healing, but the emotional scars are very much still there. They get a surprise knock, and it's fucking Rayu who demolishes them again. <laughs> they have no idea who he even is. <laughs> he keeps doing this. <laughs> Since Maybe that's better. Such an amazing job laying low. Lay low, we're ghosts. Always ghosts. They decide they've earned themselves a treat and of course he'd be the one to break that rule. But nothing pisses.
the Seagal off more than happy innocent people. So he loses his <laughs> shit and just starts attacking everyone. Come on, man. Is dead. His work here is done and he heads out. Ryu tries to meet up with him when Seagal just f***ing nails him and drives off. Eventually, the other bad guys show up and find this super convenient. Master, master, go, go, go. They call up Seagal and let him know he almost killed his buddy, which he gets a real kick out of. <laughs> they begin See, what a dick. Roo, which is Seagal's thing, so he comes to rescue him <laughs> as fast as he possibly can. Hang in there, Ryu. Help Jesus. Us all the way. Well, it's very rare that Skull's partner survives the whole movie. Oh man, you are so gonna regret that. Probably not. You gonna kill him? I can't wait to Seagal. see the look Seagal on gonna kill him. when Seagal gets there. The bad guys get sick of waiting, so they eventually come to him, but have no yeah, chance. They moves real fucking Seagal's slow. Special forces training. And that's just a taste of what you got coming to you, buddy. Wait. Is <laughs> that motherfucker dead? <laughs> God damn it. He was only like 15 minutes away. <laughs> or you got tired of getting his ass beat and went full nature boy on this guy's neck. Also, he got shot. Okay, there it is. An hour and a half later, Seagal finally makes it there. And that's definitely who he meant to kill. Now he calls Vinnie Jones, but neither of them can remember the plot of this piece of shit. <laughs> so Seagal uses this opportunity to show off his elite improv skills. You don't want to... In all fairness, I completely forgot what the point of this movie was. He was right. The actual plot of this movie gets wrapped up real early on, so they just start filling it with whatever else the fuck they could come up with. I know your little secret, right? What secret? What about my nightclub? Two hours. F you, bitch. <laughs> Great dialogue. He has no idea if that's a yes, <laughs> but he doesn't want Good to point. look stupid by calling him back and asking. <laughs> then Seagal gets some devastating news. How's my boy said again? He's pretty sure he saw Seagal kill him back at the club during his bloodlust, but figures now's not the time. He didn't make it. Oh well, Seagal makes his audience run Oh his no. And then heads out to kill Vinny once and for all. Yeah, and someone much younger than now him. The final showdown again with Vinny Jones and Josh Barnett, who we all forgot was even in this. But Vinny has an ace up his sleeve. This guy we've never seen before. Protected. Seagal says he'll fight the little five foot five out of shape <laughs> guy. It's fair. And Ryu can fight the former UFC heavyweight champion. Oh, okay. While the Seagal UFC expertly champion. takes out this childlike man, <laughs> Ryu is being a total bitch. <laughs> After brutally killing whoever that was, now it's just Seagal and Vinny. What about up close and personal? But Seagal has an ace up his sleeve. Bullshit. More improv. Bullshit. Why did this guy agree to this movie? They better pay him a lot of money to let this like 60 year old man beat him up. Now it's over, and Seagal's pretty sure. And act like he would actually stand a chance. Who fucking cares? He has to get home to bang this poor sexual abuse survivor. Oh, God. Well, at least they don't show anything from it, dear God. Oh, Seagal. S just, yeah, Seagal.